Doc had been to the works to be mended. Him and Rosie were new to Sodor, so Tupham had brought them to help out during busy times. Doc and Rosie had been in an accident, and Sir Tupham Hatt was making his decision on whether or not to keep Duck and Rosie. He'll send us away for sure, said Rosie. I was lucky to be brought here. I was going to be scrapped on my old railway, said Duck. Duck and Rosie needed to do something, but they didn't know what. Duck and Rosie had gone to the yard on trucks. Edward was leaving with a goods train. I wish that was me, said Duck. Then, the trucks started giving Edward trouble. Let's break away, said the trucks. The couplings were old. One snapped. We've broken away! We've broken away! shouted the trucks. They raced down the line and whizzed past James. Watch my paintwork, he shouted. Duck and Rosie were in the yard when the alarm went off. There's a runaway train. We need someone to stop it, shouted a workman. We can do it, shouted Rosie. Rosie raced out of the yard and after the trucks. Duck came in close behind. Hurry, Rosie, hurry, cried the driver. Then they'll catch us gradually. The trucks had enough momentum to keep going up the hill and race down the line. Gordon was in the big station with the express. Rosie and Duck were the only ones that could prevent a collision. Point! Point! shouted Rosie. A shunter quickly changed the points and sent them away down the other line. Watch out! shouted Gordon. Sorry, Gordon, shouted Rosie. Rosie got in front of the train and started slowing it down. The train was beginning to slow down, but up ahead was Daisy the diesel rail car. What are we going to do? asked a duck. Oh dear, shouted Daisy. Rosie saw the empty siding in the goods yard and knew what had to be done. Points, she shouted. A shunter was quick enough to switch the points, and Rosie ran into the yard. Duck took the corner too fast and was turned onto his side. Daisy came to help. Rosie slammed on the brakes. It's up to you now, shouted Rosie's driver. Rosie's driver and fireman jumped clear. Finally, the dust cleared. Edward arrived quickly, but the breakdown train was her top of mat. The breakdown train lifted Rosie back onto the track. Oh no, whispered Duck. With all this damage, Sir Topham Hatt will surely send us away. I'm so sorry, sir, said Rosie. For the damage and for... Rosie. Duck, said Sir Topham Hatt. There's nothing to be sorry about. I'm proud of you. You saved Daisy's passengers from a terrible crash. What about the buffers and trucks? asked Rosie. They can be mended, and so will you. Does, does this mean, asked Duck, but the rest of the speech was drowned out by the sound of cheers and whistles. Duck and Rosie were here to stay.